Good evening, or good morning, because it is something like four o'clock in the morning between Saturday and Sunday, Easter weekend. And um, <clears throat> this is probably the most scared I've been about subject I've been talk about since making YouTube videos. This one. Um, if you know taken the wrong way, which it will be, because we've all got different views on different words. You know, for some people, it, it will go in their brains, <coughs> and it will just explode with, um, you know, thinking I'm a lunatic, and I'm okay with that. That is not my fault. Um, so, <clears throat> if you haven't heard my videos before, um, I'm basically telling people, and it is my firm opinion, that I've got to the level where I can feel my soul, and therefore be able to be in communication with God's soul, the Mother, Father, God, soul, which is the, which is all God is. God doesn't have a spirit body and a physical body like we do. God is that, but he's just, you know, he, she is just massively, massively huge and, and the soul is built on love. So, all souls are all loving, if you like. Some souls just have wounds that are inflicted by others or oneself. And they're an emotional wound. And you can feel that emotional pain and that would take it away and um, it's just about feeling everything that comes so once you've got these wounds out of the way you can comfortably feel your soul <clears throat> and I'm sure I've got other wounds but I'm able now to go into that soul feeling um, without too much negative emotion and <clears throat> you know to, I've been doing it all all day today pretty much um, been getting plenty of time just to sit around and meditate and I've been feeling it and I haven't really been asking any questions so until earlier when um, I was getting into that soul feeling and knowing it was God that I could feel and asking a question. So I asked, you know, what's what's going on? <laughs> what's um <clears throat> what's gonna happen to the world and in this time you know, in the next few years or whatever. Um, and I suppose one of the things on my mind must have been, you know, is there going to be an asteroid thing? I asked that, I think. I asked about timing. I asked also about this um, thing I didn't understand. Now, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm kind of doing it with words. But it's mainly a feeling and then from the feeling I get words very succinct things come through and that I can assimilate if you like so it's not as though anyone's saying any words let me just get that straight 
So, yeah, so I asked these questions, and, um, you know, as you can rely on, you will get immediate answers. Um, so then I've afterwards I've you know I've I've gone through as much you know in my mind and then you know sort of gets to, I don't know how long I spent half an hour an hour. Um, so then I so then I wrote things down. So they may not be in the right order. <clears throat> New souls ran out December two thousand twelve. See, it's amazing how just a few words like that when I'm going to sort of, you know, and you can in your own head, obviously, depending on what your thoughts of souls are and everything else, you're going to think, fucking hell, this is mental. Um, but yeah, they're just a line. But obviously you need to have heard more about the truth about God and souls for that to... Sort of sit in. Anyway, so <clears throat> the next line All babies born since may be reincarnated. Now, I kept sort of feeling this some may be soulless. So, again, that just one word. <laughs> one word can be very, very um, explosive, you know to to even consider that um, all hu you know all humans have souls that's 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 the thing to to say to to even consider that a human might not have a soul is it's it's scary isn't it it's, it's like you know one of the things we could rely on is that you know to feel safe is that, oh, not that feeling that, or well, there may be these soulless ones. So I was resistive of that when I, when I heard it. Um, but I haven't been able to resist it completely. And um, I thought of it in quite a positive term. That um, like an animal that I've been thinking don't have souls. They have a physical body and a spirit body, and they they have this instinct. Now, is that instinct sort of as though they were like God? Because they're God's creations. So everything is God's creation. Um, yeah, every, everything we know about, anyway. So, you know, it's not, not necessarily a bad thing if... Um, obviously none of the... If there are any soulless babies born, they're not going to be listening to this at this point. But if in eight years' time, a soulless person is listening to this, I don't know, they probably, won't give, probably wouldn't be listening to this. Um, but the impression I got was that the only way to tell would be to feel. So, you know, if you, you can get to the point where you're sensitive and you can feel human souls, which is another thing I've been doing today, noticing, then um, <clears throat> we're, we're probably all sensitive one way of doing this. And um, it's, if you try and think and remember experience when you drive into a big city, so you've been in a place of low population or zero population on the roads, not too busy. And then as you get towards a city, you can really start to feel. 
So we are, you know, we are capable of all this. It's just that we either deny it or we complicate it with our fucked up belief systems so it doesn't compute, doesn't get through. But it's all going on. So maybe this is what David Icke and everything is on about with this wavelength stuff. You know, that you're only perceiving one part of the wavelength. I've always imagined they were just talking about, yeah, the rays of light going into your eyes is obviously just one thing. What's going on? Table touch, make sound, da 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 da, 3D is another thing. But that, yes, that is still this one plane. And then there's all this stuff going on, um, which is on another level, baby. And, you know, you get into it slowly, you know, it starts off, you get a glimpse of it. And then it happens again and you start to get familiar with it. And each time it grows, you know, but it only works. These things, you have to be loving. And things that, to in order to grow in sort of God's perfect way, with you know, if you, the divine numbers, the divine rule, 1.618, how things grow like the length of our limbs in proportion and everything. And if you want your own things to grow like that, you know, it has to be a loving thing done by your desires. And that's when things flourish. So, yeah completely off the point there since we're talking about <clears throat> someone who might be soulless sorry you soulless person you're probably just thinking what the fuck <laughs> but no so you know not a bad thing so it'd be interesting and then I did have a thought well would spirits be able to attach to them more easily would spirits want to it seems that spirits can sometimes occupy a an animal, I don't know, and influence it. As you do, occasionally, animals attack, don't they? So if they were all totally linked with an all-loving God, they wouldn't attack necessarily, would they? Tough questions, aren't they? Oh, you know, there's enough of them out there, isn't there? So. You, you know, thinking about them. I don't know why I keep fiddling with this bit of paper. So what what's what's going on here then? What's going on? So God created a load of souls. And in the end of my last video I was just thinking about with frog spawn the way frogs I've noticed in my pond they lay two lots of frog spawn. And so, well, that's another kind of story, but so it could be possible. Pleiades, they could be the other frog spawn and the earth, but we're just going to deal with the earth side in this video because I really haven't given too much thought yet to that Pleiades. Although I do feel we all know it inside of us <clears throat> that there are others out there, and I think that's where this strong belief comes for. UFOs and things like that. I think we do, because we do know the answer to every question we could ever ask. And I think there's this feeling, you know, get it when I watch Star Wars, I think of this other place out there. And it's like, yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, so, <coughs> was it finite? Now, now, I don't know this for sure, and I've never heard anyone say for sure that there was a finite number of souls made. But if we're all unique, then it couldn't be infinite. And that's one of the great things about our souls. I'll just suddenly I'm going to check how the battery was going because I didn't know. So we're all unique, and we all want to feel special, and we all are special. 
because we're all unique. So that's awesome. And of course, the soul is made up of two halves. Uh, one half masculine, the other half feminine. In 85% of the cases. In 15% of the cases, you have a male-male connection soul and a female-female connection soul. It's like at the extreme ends. Because all the, all these souls, these complete souls, everyone is unique. And there's about apparently fifty billion in the spirit world. Now I believe that would include the Pleiadians. I think we have the same spirit world with the Pleiadians. Although I don't know that for sure. So I'd less leave that. This I haven't this video isn't about that. Anyway, so at some point, um, we're going to have the last soul. Now what I have heard about is apparently this sort of closing of the gates. And yes, this from uh, A.J. Miller. Or well, I heard it through him anyway. Um... There is going to be this time when God is going to um, stop sort of constantly sending his offer of his divine love for progression. Because there are, there are, um, spirits in the spirit world who just won't allow the concept they just won't look at it and they're sludging around in the mud and their whole focus is on living their lives through people on earth because they won't kind of accept what's become of them in the spirit world and they won't accept a God they can't accept a God that God would do that to them so there's going to be a cut off time and and apparently this you know this this has happened before in history as well and the last time it got turned back on was when Jesus lived so it's been on all that time. So anyone born in that time will have quite likely received that feeling of divine love. And it, you might have had it without knowing. You were sitting in a church and there was some music or you were listening to some music somewhere else, not necessarily in a church either. You know, and you just felt this sort of joy sort of enter you type of thing and many people will have experienced that so as long as you've experienced that you will be able to go all the way you'll be able to go to the celestial heavens you'll be able to And um, for those that haven't, there will be a date when when the gate is, is essentially shut. Now what I wrote here is, from the end of 2019, now I'm not sure about dates because they just sort of come with a feeling. But I do feel there was this thing around December 2012 a change occurred, like a turning, the tide turned or something, you know, suddenly went from minor, minus to plus or whatever. So anyway, from end of 2019, those who have not allowed the possibility of God will no longer receive the offer, and people in the celestial realms will be unable to assist by visiting the lower levels. God will give the celestial people new tools to learn more. 
So that is the reason as well that God is doing this. It's to 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 allow those who have accepted God's God and God's love to 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 go, you know, on a new thing instead of constantly trying to help those spirits in the lower levels. Um, so this is why it links with when the last when the last new soul w was was born. So we had the frogs born and are set on the earth, and souls were going down, and all the so all the souls here still with God, were in an incarnate state, so they weren't conscious, we hadn't had that awareness come to us yet, we were just with God, so we were perfectly happy, perfectly safe, no harm came to us. And over the last few thousand years, several thousand years perhaps, we've been plopping off here, there, you know, and gradually, you know, the ones with God are getting less and less and there must be a time when the last one goes so if this is right and the last one was December 2012 then God must give that soul enough time to have some experiences um, giving it a chance basically to receive some of God's love and therefore be able to go through. And I got I just felt seven years. Now the way the way this happens, the way this works when I'm doing this communicating is I'm I get into a position where I'm where I'm feeling my soul and then I can feel God. Then if I ask a question and if I if I suppose it wrong, the feeling quite you know quite quickly goes away, and then you're like oh well i've 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 stepped off the wrong path, or if you start thinking about something else, you know it would go away and you know I've plenty of experience of this now, or more you know more and more, so you you stay in it by just continually feeling and so you are trusting completely in these feelings and this I've been doing this for quite quite a while several months and so now my trust is building in these feelings so when I get that you know I I I I know that that then is true. If I'm going to continue trusting my feel feelings and my building trust in my feelings, becoming stronger and stronger, that's what I'm going to go with. It's just allowing whatever comes up and knowing if it's spirit influenced. And that's where I've made some errors over the last few months as well. You know, especially at the beginning, was was mistaking spirit influence for. Or God influence because you could be there with God then you have a thought and then suddenly you know you 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 have sort of dropped away from God and you're getting a slightly different feeling and it's telling you something but you just link it to what you were just thinking as well so oh I you know but it makes sense when you feel it So, you know, <laughs> obviously my advice to people who believe God, you know, you've got um you've got a few years. But yeah, at at your peril, don't end up like those sludging around in the mud. Right, so then after two thousand nineteen when so by that time and all the celestial spirits are then going to be in gym class 
and they're not going to be, you know, able to come down here even on earth, perhaps either. By that time, God has taken control of the earth and is implementing a new system. Well, I even say already, it's taken control of the earth and is implementing a new system which will be fair and just and last a thousand years. So, I think, yes, and then reincarnated souls are here to set the standards. They will just be awesome because their souls are so high and learned. And through the way God is becoming more and more, well, this divine truth anyway. Um, anyone who's using the word divine and talking about Mother, Father, God, you know, you're on the right track as far as I'm concerned. If you're feelings, feeling that, then, then that's good. And the, uh, <clears throat> apparently the four, yeah, no, I can understand this, like the four sort of, well, there are more than four, but things that we get from God I mean there's here's her love but then there's the truth wisdom creativity and maintenance and maintenance is constant so I, I just think that's good to think about real heavy man it's so heavy it's so heavy, but it's good. Right, um, there was a bit more, which I'll just... Oh, yeah. What man will do to the earth. So, God isn't... I don't, there was no, not going to be any asteroid impact in the earth. There's... There's going to be, I saw, smoke, bombs, explosions, some big explosions. And just got the feeling what, what man will do to the earth for the main reason for want of power. So it looks like power is going to be the, the number one addiction, the number one want. You know, you've got power, you've got money. <clears throat> you can have everything then that's going to become and is but you know that's going to become the major addiction so yeah so that's going to be some crap going on and then I write about the spirits sludging through the mud above their heads but completely detached constantly their thoughts flitter from one attachment to another Try and tell them anything, they won't hear it. They won't hear it unless some more get taken out of the mud and they notice that there seems to be less people there. Maybe that will make them think. Because I'm sure God could have everybody through. That would be God's desire, wouldn't it? <clears throat> Being an all-loving God. I think the new souls thing is interesting. I am... Um, you know... Reincarn more reincarnated souls down on earth. I've seen this one baby a couple of times. That his mother's walking the baby along in a pram, I think it's a girl. And she's sort of, she's got, looks really small and young, but sitting up, sort of, and able to look around and having something and looking really, <laughs> looking really cool and 
obviously these reincarnated souls will be quite picky and choosy about who they're going to be going with. I mean, you know you're going into a world that isn't quite all sorted out yet and a lot of people still have their priorities bang, you know, out of the wrong direction. So, you're going to be choosy, aren't you? You're going to want to be born with someone who's spiritual and into this divine divine truth um, because you're not going to want fucked up life you're not going to want all that soul damage that as a baby you can't do anything about it and I you know I know a couple of people who've had kids um, after 2012 and um, <clears throat> it's interesting what I've noticed. One of them, I, I really did f feel like nothing. I mean, it was asleep, but I, I didn't feel anything. So that's interesting. And another mate, who's his um, daughter. Must be about under three, S still having naps in the day. Yeah, definitely under three because she's not talking. And yeah, I feel something from her. So, but I haven't given it too much thought about thinking, well, so she must be reincarnated. She must have actually, you know, what what we all fantasised about, probably, probably everybody has, is, oh, what, what might have I been in a past life, if I had a past life. And that's why it was so nice to kind of think about reincarnation, but then quite frustrating thinking, well, I can't fucking remember anything, it's shit. But these, these souls will, they will get memories not only of their first life, but they'll also get memories of all that time in the spirit world. So, I mean, they are going to be some big feeling people as well, because their soul will be, <laughs> I say old, but yeah, would have had time to grow so much in love. Um, it's going to be an awesome feeling going around. It's going to be some awesome vibes. It's going to be good times. It's going to be good times. I think I have quite poor eyesight and interestingly it's <laughs> it's not been that great lately it's been it's probably because of the sun like more sun helps good eyesight um but um no it's you know about seeing the future and I'm a bit negative about the future and I think that's why I don't see clearly ahead. I'm a bit too um, I think I'm a bit too negative about the future and I think that's something that I can definitely feel about my sort of um, the amount of trust I put in God is even though outwardly I'm very yeah, definitely believe in God. Won't, won't stop for a minute, sort of thing. Partly because there's so much anti-God around. That um, no, that um, you know, I'm not putting 
as much faith in God as I should that he she's got this so sussed out. That's all going perfectly as we could have hoped. <laughs> because, you know, if that could make someone angry that Stephen Fry might kick up, how dare you, God, how dare you, a child with cancer or whatever. How about fetuses, where the soul gets attached to that fetus and then the fetus is killed off? And the soul only got hardly anything of a life. How many spirits are in the spirit world who had no real experience of life at all? And there'll be spirits in the spirit world who had, um, you know, couple of years experience and maybe not very nice experience in that couple of years but the big part of life is in the spirit world because that's much much longer um, the spirit body will last I don't know, a million years if it had to but shouldn't probably need more than a few thousand years to got to a stage where the spirit body was no longer required. Or you get the choice of reincarnation, if you wish. And I suppose once you got to that stage, you could decide at one point, ah, let's have a break, let's reincarnate. Let's, let's, let's do that again. But in a world which is much, much better. <laughs> we don't have to go through all this shit again. And it was our learning stage, it's our learning curve. And if all we've, if all the problems we've caused is because we didn't want to feel some sadness, or we didn't want to feel this fear, then, you know, how is it that bad? I've had dark imaginings about other people's pain. And I guess as a kid at school and being shown starving Ethiopians, I did often think about Africa. But the reality was when I actually went there, I noticed although the people were very poor, living in the shanty towns, they were also very rich in community. And I also got to see how poor the community is in this country. Same with disabled people, especially those from birth or, you know, very young ages my experience was they seemed were could feel they're very happy really happy quite a lot of cases so you know It hasn't been that bad and the worst bits were all when you were going against him. Yeah. You know. They're the hard bits. You know, sometimes you do have to pull yourself up <clears throat> and get on with it. You do have to have that ability in you as well. It's something which is required. But 
what's what's hard and probably something we can't conceive as you know we've only been aware for however many years is that spirits who have been in the spirit world a few thousand years we can't really comprehend so much what what it is for them <sighs> but it seems as though there will be some left behind and quite possibly people alive today my age whatever will also be left behind now it won't necessarily be that bad you know, natural love can get you quite far without God loving you can do alright be happy for probably 10,000 years see I went through a period of natural love but I think I had experienced divine love already I know I had. I went through this period where I was just thinking God was all of us. So not seeing God as a another entity in itself. And it wasn't as good. So me, I'm so much happier with with that God being a being in my belief system. And it does make a difference. It makes a big difference. Especially when repairing a soul. Because without God you need to do every single bit. Take years. Years of work. But if you're with God and you're sincere, you can, God will see that sincerity and he'll help heal, he will heal you, he, she. <clears throat> Ask and you will get. Seek and you shall find. I should stop it really, shouldn't I? Smoking. Yeah, I should stop smoking as well. I, should, I meant the video. <clears throat> it's like, has the album finished? Is there another song? Is there a secret special bit at the end? I don't know. I don't know. I hope you can see my artwork. It's work in progress. It's going to be good.
when I was getting all the like vision of the and it was yeah it was a uh, yeah it was clear it was clearish <laughs> <coughs> you know, I also got, you know, I mean, this is already going on now. But this last one, I did see this sort of, and I was like, was that a sun, is that a sunset? And then it was like a mushroom cloud. Yeah, so, you know. I mean, what would happen if a nuke went off now? People would go nuts, wouldn't they? That would that would, would that be enough to collapse it? What would happen? It's horrible to think about. And it, <clears throat> if you're there, if a nuke hits you. You're going to be dead, obviously. But you're going to be around a lot of other people who are also dead. That's if you're in a populated area. So you could have this situation where people don't... Some people won't accept they're dead. And they think they're hallucinating or something. because they'll still be witnessing what's going on. I'm not sure how the process goes of being drawn to the spirit world. But from a book I read, um, Through the Mists, by R.J. Lees, there was a guy who got like run over by a horse, and the next thing he knows he's just sitting on a bank somewhere. And he's through the mist. He's through into the spirit world because he because <coughs> he died during an act of um, he's trying to save a little boy from getting run over by a pack of horses. Well, like you know, one, I guess a double horse wagon, four horses on it. So. so you know, if 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 you do die in a mass population area and everybody dies at the same time you know some people could go straight away some people remain and think they're hallucinating or maybe <laughs> some sort of a uh, horrific thing to experience so I wouldn't wish it on anyone but if it does happen to you you know try and remain cool you've got <laughs> it's not can't hurt your spirit body your spirit body can't die um, don't be influenced by darker spirits don't fear think about God think about people you know who have passed who like you <laughs> for guidance you know they could be there but yeah sorry that's very morbid are you thinking gah I hung on for that <laughs> what was that all about what's that all about <clears throat> so the shit's gonna hit the fan, baby. I guess, you know, I think if one country nuked another, it just. The people holding the guns at the end of the day, I think they're just gonna drop them and go, fuck this. Fuck this for a game of soldiers. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm going back to Liverpool. 
with my wife and my kids. I'm gonna have just enjoy my life. <laughs> that was suddenly a Newcastle accent. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I think that would be good. And um, all the Middle East and stuff. All in those countries, Sunni, Sunni Muslims. I mean, they can. I mean, I, I don't know how much they want to conquer. I don't know what what will satisfy them. Maybe. You know, I don't know. There's so much, like anti-ISIS stuff, they were so hated from the beginning, yet in a funny way funded as well, bizarrely, there's, you know, there's so much fishy stuff about ISIS, and are they just, are they a scapegoat for some of this trickery going on, let's say the people who killed the uh, cartoonists, in France, you know, maybe that wasn't ISIS, maybe they just wanted to do it to get this sort of terrorism stuff through because they want to control our asses. Technocrat governments now. Basically, it's all about money and power. Making decisions equates power. There is a price for that power. It's, there's a worth. There's a value. Everything with value is considered important. Ridiculous. Because you know it's only going to be short-lived. You. You can only see, you see, I've always sort of just accepted, yeah, okay, if you think you're just going to die and it's going to be black at the end of it, you know, I can't even have an argument with you, I can't even talk to you, whatever. But you see, if you plan your life based on the fact that you're going to live forever, <laughs> you're going to live it differently. Now, I don't mean live forever on this earth either, don't have delusions. I mean, that, yeah, we're going to pass into the spirit world in about 70 odd years or whatever. Then we're going to live in the spirit world for who knows how long. But when you get more of an idea of what the spirit world is going to be like and everything, and you can because you go there every night and you sleep very practically. See, I'm not sure about a bit of this, but... Um, we're definitely in some sleep states. We have certain levels we can manage in our sleep state. Anyway, I'm losing the plot now. Losing my plot, not. I'm going to end the way. <laughs> <coughs> what was I saying? No progression. Noted. <laughs> oh, damn it. I was on a roll. It's the camera. Just talking. Talking, 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 talking. Yeah, that was it. So you plan your life on the basis of that you're going to live on. And you're going to act differently. You're going to make different decisions. You're not going to spend your life hoarding wealth. Because you love the feeling of it. And these days, you know, it really does... You know, you can buy anything, can't you? I mean, money just can get you anything. And it, you know, on a certain level, probably always has been quite a, a lure. Which might be why Jesus said it would be, was it Jesus? Said it would be harder for a rich man to get into heaven or something along those lines as getting a camel through the eye of a needle. Now it is possible you can make a crocking big E needle and you could get a camel through it. 
So, <clears throat> I guess that was saying, you know, it's possible, but you're going to have to think outside the box. <laughs> but, so, yeah, I think that, you know, I felt what this was telling me. You look behind the people in power and you see how that power corrupts them. Suddenly they don't really care if a few people are going to die because it's going to be feathering their nest egg. And because one does it, that will cause, probably, well not cause, but that will allow that sort of precedence and another will do it. How long has this been going on for? 56. Alright, that'll do. I think. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know if I got everything I wanted to say off my plate there. 56 minutes, quite long. So, um, happy Easter. This will be, be like your Easter epic. Should I make it over an hour? No. Okay. I, I'm not going to sing because it's early in the morning. So, um, ta-ra.